Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So problem is remove duplicates from sorted array. Very easy problem. We are given an array, and it is sorted order. It's a, it's in sorted order, uh, ascending order. It's sorted, and we have to remove duplicates. in place that we have to not take extra memory we have to just remove duplicates from that array only in place and each element should appear at most twice so each element can appear at most twice and it like more, not more than twice so the relative order of the elements should be kept same so right this is the like theory we have to what we have to do is uh, since sometimes it's uh, not possible to change the length of the array so we have to return like what is what all are the uh, elements we have to like return the size that is the uh, first k element so we have to return the we have to return k let's see let's see with the input we will better understand so let's take this input over here yeah we have this input so see each element we can have at most twice we can have at most twice that is see zero we have twice okay that's fine now this one is four times so we have to only take two so one one will take and these one will be not included and then there is two so two is single only so we can take it and then there are two threes so we can take them so this will be the array so this array should be modified to this it should be modified to this and the output will be uh, we will return the size of these elements so 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven. So seven will be returned. So this is what we need to do. So see, guys, how we will approach this? How we will think of what we have to do? So see, every element can occur two times, right? At most two times. If it is three times, then it's invalid. It's in invalid. For example, let's take an example. We have three. Three, three, and let's say we are here. We have to check whether this element is valid or not. So we need to check whether there are more like there are two occurrences of this element before it or not. So how we will check that? We can compare this with this index, and if they are same, means before this one there were two occurrences of this element because these all are in sorted order right this array is in sorted order so if we are at current in like we are at this element we are at this element we will compare this element with the like if this is i index we will compare this element with i minus 2 index and we will check whether they are equal if they are equal then this needs to be removed because there are two occurrences of this element before right so this property this thing we can use in our problem so let's see how we'll do it so what we are doing what we will do we will take we will iterate through this array we'll iterate so uh, we are at this element like this and uh what uh, we are we are taking i pointer we are taking i is initialized to 0 right so what we will do is see we will initially here zero can come zero can come like first two elements could be anything right doesn't matter so we will come here now e is what e is one element is one so we will compare and since we are shifting also we have come we have come to this index We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will come. Uh, we are coming. We have come to add like this index. So I will be what? I will be two. Right now, see what we will do. Over here, we have one. Na? We have one. So we will check whether this one is valid or not. So we will compare whether this here, this e. We will check the element which is previous to it. Like. At i minus two index, this is currently i na. So we will check whether comp we will compare is this element 
if this element is not equal to arr of i minus 2 here e is what 1 and it's not equal to arr of i minus 2 i is this so i minus 2 2 i is 2 index so 2 minus is 0 so 0 so it's not equal which means it's correct so this occurrence is correct so we will move i forward and element will also go forward so i will come here right now again we will check this condition again we will check this condition what is element element is 1 again and it's not equal to uh, arr of i minus 2 i is what 3 so 3 minus 2 is 1 arr of 1 is 0 so again they are not equal so this is true this is true and uh, we, what we will do is then we will again move e forward and i will again move move forward so i will come at 4 i will come at 4 now we will again check the condition you will understand what we are doing see so now see now see e is what 1 and i is this 4 so 4 minus 2 is what 2 index so arr of 2 is what 1 i 1 not equal to 1 this is false means this here this one should not be there so now what we will do we will move the element ahead but i will still be here i will remain still here because i is the place i is the index where we i is index where we will store the correct element where we, we will store correct element correct element so see now e is here we will check whether this e if this e uh, we'll again check this condition see so e 1 not equal to arr of i minus 2 i minus 2 is what 4 minus 2 2 so 2 is 1 so this is also this is false so this one is also invalid so we will move e now see now what will happen so like let's see let's see over here it's very important see e is what 2 and 2 is not equal to arr of i is what i is 4 4 minus 2 2 so arr of 2 what is arr of 2 2 not equal to arr of 2 is 1 so 2 is not equal to 1 this is true means now what we will do this element we will replace it to this that is this e will be placed at arr of i so this e will be will come here so this will come here because this is now the correct position where we can write this 2 so this 2 will come here and i will forward i will move forward so i will now because now this is the next position where we need to add the element this is done now this is the next position so i will come here and e we will go forward i e we will so i also we move forward e also we move forward so i plus plus this is the first step and this is the second step i plus plus now let's again check again check so here see uh, here e is what 3 3 not equal to arr of i minus 2 what is i i is 5 5 minus 2 is 3 arr of 3 is 1 3 is not equal to 1 means this is correct element so we can store 3 so we will store this 3 at a 3 this 3 at arr of i i is what 5 so here 3 will come and i plus plus so i will come here now and element to always we go forward element will always go forward now for this now let's check this for this so see for this e, e, e is what 3 3 not equal to arr of i minus 2 i is what 6 6 minus 2 is 4 arr of 4 is 2 so 3 is not equal to 2 that's correct so we will again e will go to arr of 6 so e is what 3 3 will go here and i will go forward so see guys what happens now here is 3 here is 3 and our i is at 7 index so if you see we have traversed the entire or we have traversed the entire array and this part this part is the uh, all the remove we have removed the duplicate part so the length of this will be the i index because i is at 7 index and this length is what 1 2 3 4 6 7 7 so return i because we need to return length now we're returning i so this is the approach we'll be using 
I hope you understood the approach. Let's see the code once. It will be more clear. Uh, I will highly recommend just just dry run the code once because then only you will be able to understand more clearly. So see what we are doing. We have taken this I, initialize it to zero, and we are going to each element in the array. In this num nums vector, we are going to each element. If I is zero or I is one, or nums of I minus two is not equal to E, means what we are doing? We are checking now if E is not equal to nums of I minus two. If it's not equal, then we do these steps. So if these are not equal, just move that element to the ith index and i increment e to always be incrementing because we are going to next element every time so after this our i we have to return so that i will be the length of the correct array size like which is like in which we have duplicate remove the duplicates so i hope you understood the problem and the approach uh, time complexity we are going to each element so it's o of n and space is o of 1 like it's constant we are not using any extra space so if you found the video helpful please like it java code will be in the description and uh, uh, yeah like do subscribe the channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you